I'm Michelle Gadpai, and I'm a teacher and a scholar here at the Faculty of Arts at the University of Maribor. I took a very long and strange route to get here. I started at Yale University in Connecticut. I was very lucky. And from there, I went to Western University in Ontario. And I finished by doing my doctorate at the University of Toronto. And I highly recommend to everybody getting your education in three different places. It forms character, definitely. As well as a teacher and a scholar, I'm also a wife, a mother, and a cancer survivor. I'd like to re be remembered primarily as a teacher, but in fact I also do quite a lot of research and publishing. I think my best known book is still my first and earliest, The Canadian Short Story, and that's because it was published by Oxford, so everybody still knows about it. But I've done a lot of work and research since that I work in the Renaissance in Shakespeare. I work in 19th century women's studies and I have a book on that. And I recently have been working in words and music studies that here at the faculty we founded a series of conferences called Words and Music. And the latest conference was Words, Music and Gender very important for International Women's Day. The publication from that conference is going to come out later this year. I'm very lucky to work in a discipline, English Literature Studies, that is moving with the times. It allows flexibility and change. It allows one to be interdisciplinary. So for instance, my latest monograph is called The Ethical Atlantic, and it's about slave narrative, and it's about the advocacy network, the trade in slave narratives during the abolitionist era. So it takes a quite hard-nosed look at that trade in vital, moving slave narratives. I'm very proud of that particular book and its political engagement. Now, I write for the ages. I don't write for points. I know points are important. But much more important is who's going to be reading anything I write 50 years from now. I care about those people and I write for them. Now, my most recent project, the one that I'm involved in right now, today, this morning, is about hate speech in the Balkans. And because hate speech is quite a touchy topic, and again, very relevant for Women's Day, we decided to study it through the medium of Shakespeare. So I brought one of my most classic academic concerns to bear on studying something that is vital for communication among young people in this region. Again, I'm extremely proud of that reach out into the real social world around me. Now, International Women's Day in Canada I'm a Canadian, as not everybody might know. It's, it's different there. And that's because it has a commemorative aspect, that it always remembers the Montreal Massacre. In 1989, a deranged man took a gun into the École Polytechnique in Montreal, and he gunned down 14 women. He injured other men and women, but he killed 14 women simply because he did not believe that women should be getting advanced scientific educations. And that is always commemorated at universities in Canada for International Women's Day. Now, I want to leave you with four small things that you can do to balance the playing field between men and women for International Women's Day. And the first thing I'd like to suggest is that you find a younger female colleague and partner with her for your next project or collaboration. Reach out particularly and give credit where credit is due. Then I want to suggest something really simple. Buy a book written by a woman. Go pick out a novel, some local poetry, a play. Support women's creativity. Put your money where your mouth is and buy that book. Oh, and please read it, of course, after you've bought it. And then here's something we don't often do. 
we, as women, we don't often blow our own trumpets or talk about what we have done and achieved. Please do so. At least once a year, blow your own trumpet. Tell the world what you have achieved. You deserve it. Then, something really, really small now. For International Women's Day, please identify a woman in your life, in your daily life, who makes a difference. She could be your doctor, your secretary, your insurance broker, perhaps even that nice woman street cleaner in Maribor who hands out dog treats to all the dogs in Maribor. Find that woman and tell her that she's doing a great job. And have a productive International Women's Day. Thank you.